Hydrogen Oxygen Nebulizer 03 Instructions for Use AMSH Equipment Introduction Hydrogen Concentration 66.66% Oxygen Concentration 33.33% Rated gas production rate 2 to 3 liter per minute. Nebulization rate greater than or equal to 30 milliliter per hour. Unboxing and taking the equipment out. Find the safety locks at the bottom of the packing box on both sides. Hold the safety lock cover and pull it out. Now, the internal lock can be seen. Hold the upper end of the internal lock. Pull it out. Use the same method to remove all the four safety locks on the packing box. Then, stretch both hands into the hand holes on both sides of the packing box. Exert force on both sides at the same time to lift the packing box. Take the protective foam out from the top and side it aside. Put your hands underneath the equipment. Lift the equipment and place it on flat ground. Caution! Do not hold hydrogen water cap in your hand when taking the equipment out, so as to prevent the equipment from slipping. The length, width, and height of the main unit are 470 ml, 240 ml, 490 mm. The night weight is 18 kg. On the back of the equipment, there are power cable, power switch, air outlets for heat dissipation. On the top of the equipment, there are water supplementation inlet of electrolyzer water tank, nebulation channel and nebulation cup, touch control panel. In front of the equipment, there is a humidification cup containing hydrogen water. On the bottom of the equipment, there are air inlets for heat dissipation. On both sides of the equipment, there are air inlets for heat dissipation. At the lower part of the equipment, there are filter cartridges to be replaced regularly. Drain valve for regular washing of the equipment. For fixable universal wheels, Equipment accessories include Nasal oxygen cannula Nasal mask Water funnel Water absorption ball to withdraw water Semicircle cap for nebulization cap Nebulization disc Wrench for nebulization disc replacement Instructions for use Accessories and their quantities are subject to the list of accessories in the instructions for use. The equipment should be placed on level ground. The distance from the back of the equipment to the wall should be greater than 50 cm. The ventilation distance on both sides should be greater than 20 cm. After the placement of the equipment, press down the locking pieces to lock the four universal wheels at the bottom of the equipment so as to prevent the equipment from sleeping. Find the power cable on the back of the equipment. Remove the power plug protective cover. Insert the plug into the socket on the wall with a ground wire. Push the power switch on the back of the machine to on to power it on. Press and hold the start button for about 5 seconds and then release the button. Wait for the screen to light up. Now, the equipment is powered on and started up. In the operation interface of the equipment, there are time setting buttons, plus and minus buttons.
Each click of the plus button will add 13 minutes up to 418 minutes. Each click of the read minus buttons will deduct 13 minutes down to 30 minutes. Time can be set based on your needs. The setting of nebulization rate with plus and read minus buttons has six levels. Each click of the plus button will add one level. Each click of the read minus button will deduct one level. The lowest level is off. During use based on your needs, you can choose to start function and adjust the rate. The setting of gas production rate has three levels, 2.0 liter, 2.5 liter, and 3.0 liter. You can select the gas production rate based on your needs. At the lower part of the operation interface, there are setting, start, and off buttons. Click setting. The equipment setting screen can be shown. Click start. The equipment operation screen can be shown. Click off. The equipment can be shut down. Creating a user. Click setting. Click User. Click New User. After reading the disclaimer, check Agree. Click Next. Fill in the user's real information. Check Medical History. Select the corresponding medical history. Click Next. Now the user is created. Using the same method, more users can be created. Press and hold the username in the user list for 5 seconds to modify or delete the user profile. Adding water to the electrolyzer water tank. When the machine is installed for the first time, prepare about 6 liters of commercially available GB17323-1998. Distilled purified water or special water provided by Asclepius Meditech. Impure water is strictly prohibited because it will affect the life of the equipment. Prepare the water funnel. Extrude and clockwise the water supplementation inlet cap. Insert the funnel to add water. Pay attention to the prompts on screen. When the prompt indicates that the water tank is to be full, add water slowly. When the prompt indicates that the water tank is full, stop adding water. When a prompt indicates that the water level is too high, you need to use a water absorption ball to withdraw the excess water from the water tank until the prompt indicates that the water level is normal. Close the water supplementation inlet cap. Screw clockwise the water supplementation inlet cap to a parallel position. Please note, be sure to screw the cap tightly Otherwise, gas will leak. Adding water to the hydrogen water cap. Stabilize the equipment first. Hold the hydrogen water cap. Press the unlock button of the hydrogen water cap. And then pull out the hydrogen water cap slowly and horizontally. Prepare the funnel. Prepare about 1 liter of purified water. No doubt, if the new machine is used for the first time, you need to remove the hydrogen water cap protector. Unplug the hydrogen water cap. Insert the funnel to add water. Add water to a level between the high and low water marks. Put the rubber plug back. 
Note that the connecting band of the rubber plug cannot be folded and exposed. The plug should be put back vertically downward. Otherwise, guys will leak. Place hydrogen water cup back after adding water. Press by both hands horizontally and vertically until a click sound is heard. Make sure that the hydrogen water cap is in place, otherwise gas will leak. No doubt, here are two metal sensors. Do not press hard to cause damage. Adding water to nebulization channel and nebulization cap. Remove the rubber plug and screw and clockwise, and then remove the top cap. Pull out the nebulization cap from the top. Absorb the purified water with a water absorption ball. Slowly add water into the nebulization channel. Keep the water level between H and L marks. The water level being too high or too low will affect normal nebulization. Absorb the liquid to be nebulized with a water absorption ball. Add the liquid into the nebulization cup. Do not exceed height at the thread of the semicircle cup. After liquid adding is completed and confirming that the semicircle cup is locked, put the nebulization cup back, paying attention to the corresponding direction. Press it hard. Screw clockwise the top cap of the nebulization cap. Take out the nasal oxygen cannula. Connect one end of the nasal oxygen cannula to the gas outlet. Side time. Based on your needs, you can choose to start the nebulization function and adjust the nebulization rate. Select the gas production rate. Click Start. Select a user. Then, gas production begins. Enjoy the hydrogen-oxygen nebulization process. During equipment operation, if you need to turn off the light to have a rest, or if you need to go to sleep at night, you can choose the sleep mode. Press and hold the button for 3 seconds to make the screen sleep. At this moment, the blue light of the hydrogen water cap will go out automatically. Click anywhere on the screen to activate the screen and the blue light. Click Suspend to suspend the operation of the equipment. Click Stop. The equipment will stop automatically. Click off. The equipment will shut down automatically. Pull out the breathing circuit connector. Put on the rubber cap to prevent the ingress of dust. Note that if the equipment will not be in use for more than three days, it's recommended to turn off the power and unplugged power cable.